if a unit vector is represented by unit vector, that's for that you have to use the cap. Vector means we have to use the bar. Vector, these are all vector. Unit vector means you have to use the cap. A cap means A cap, B cap, C cap means unit vector. Means, suppose I am a three dimensional, I am taking this is I vector, this is J vector, this is K vector. If you take a unit distance, this vector is this vector is I cap. Similarly, if you take a unit distance, this is J cap. This you will get K cap. It means what? What is the coefficient of I? 1. Coefficient of I is 1. Its magnitude is 1 means this represents the direction only. I represents the direction only. No magnitude. Magnitude is 1. J represents, J cap represents the direction only. K cap represents direction only. Magnitude is unity. That's why these are all called unit vectors. This way, 0.5. I. Minus 8J. Minus 8J means this way. Minus 0.8J. Downward direction. Because upward is positive. CK. In this direction, C, its magnitude is C, its magnitude is CK. This is Z direction, this is X direction, this is minus Y direction. The unit vector is represented by this, then the value of C is, we have to find the value of C. This unit vector, this, this is equal to this 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 is equal to ma its magnitude equal to one. That's why it is called unit vector. It consists of i directional value, y directional value, k directional value. It has three components. You can find the resultant for this. You can find the uh, magnitude of the combination of all the three. For two dimensional already we did. Like that for three dimensional also we can do. First we have to add these two. Then we have to add with that this we have to add. But what is the magnitude? Magnitude of this is I cap, J cap, K cap. Whole square, modulus square equal to 1. What is the modulus of this value? That is equal to 0.5 square plus 0.8 square plus c square. That is uh, the modulus value. Because why if you add all these together, you will get one. Modulus value means we have to take the coefficient and square. So if you add all these together, you will get uh, <coughs> this is equal to 0.25. This is equal to 0.64. This is c square equal to 1. 1 square is 1. If you add these two, what you will get? 9, 8, 0.89. Therefore, c square equal to 1 minus 0 0.89. That is equal to um, 1, 1, 1.11. c square equal to. Therefore, C equal to plus or minus square root of 0.11. Therefore, B is the answer.